don't overspend like trying to impress because when you spend and wear the clothes and you're starving those people that you're trying to impress will not give you food go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm Emil Dagotso and if you don't know, this channel is all about fashion, lifestyle and technology reviews. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling you how to look put together and confident in any look you're trying to pull. It's not all about pulling up looks, it's about looking it, looking confident, looking put together and funny enough, there are just little little details you have to just consider when wearing or styling anything you want to put on your body just to make you look put together make you look gloss, luxurious and rich it's not all about the money guys like people think that to look great to look good must be about the money the money the money yes it's good to have nice clothes look good to have luxury but even more than that is how you wear them because you can have luxury you can have the most expensive clothes yet still you'll be looking like a whole pile of colorful vomit if you don't know how to put them together follow me as i take you through this point on how to look put together and great if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and turn up post notifications so you can be the first to get videos updates from my channel and yeah let's go the first point in looking put together and luxurious in any outfit is ensuring that everything is tailored to your body type. I can't emphasize this enough because a lot of people wear things that are not for their body type and this is the first way to looking clumsy because if you're wearing, if you're skinny and you're wearing something to Google, if you're not trying to do the Alte look, you would look funny, you would look like someone borrowed you the clothes and people won't take you seriously. But when you tailor everything to your size, to your body figure, you look 100. So please, the first point is tailoring everything to your size. Like I am a shorty, so I ensure that whatever I'm putting on fits my size. Although I like free, loose clothing, but I don't go overboard because if I go overboard, I'll tend to look round. And if I go too tight, I'll tend to look like I've been forced into a clothing. So I just make it just right. So you can tailor your clothes in different ways. Either you buy your specific size or you get a size up and then if you know how to sew, tailor it to your particular need. But just ensure that the clothes sit right on your body. That's like the first step to ensuring you look put together. The second step in ensuring that you look put together in any outfit that you wear is working with confidence. Ah, see ya. Confidence is the best clothing attire. Confidence is the best garment because you can wear the nicest thing, it can fit your body. But if you're not confident, it will extrude the sauce from the garment, it will extrude the admiration you need or that you deserve because it's one thing wearing a nice clothes and it's another thing ensuring that you walk with confidence, you hold your help your head up high and rock it with confidence. See, no matter what you're wearing, even if you're wearing a rag, as long as you're confident. People would think that you're wearing some gazillion dollar clothes. Ching ching. So yeah, just ensure you rock your clothes with confidence. Like put your head up high, don't put your head down. Chin up, shoulders high and talk. Look, make eye contact. Ensure that you walk with poise. Don't walk as if they're pushing you. Walk with poise. If you're a guy, you bow. Not like bounce, bow, but like you walk with composure if you're a girl. You know, you do your your thingy, but ensure that you are not putting your head down, ensure you're not looking silly. Even on days where I feel what I'm wearing might not be the shit, I still walk with confidence and you'll be surprised that people will be like, oh my god, I love what you're wearing because I won't go confident. And the day that I'm wearing something really great and I'm not confident in myself, people will think it's shit I'm wearing. So confidence is like the best outermost appearance. The third point, knowing what fits you. Ha! <sighs> A lot of people go through life not knowing what fit them. Like, how can you deceive yourself? I think in this area, a lot of people deceive themselves. Like, everybody wants to follow trend. I get it, but it's not all about following trend. You need to know what trend fits my physique, what trend fits my body shape, 
what trend fits my complexion because it's all about that when you see someone that looks really good all the time it's not matter they know what fits them they tailor things and they work with confidence these are the major things that makes you love what they wear so it's not about jumping on trend you need to know okay does this trend will this trend fit my body type will this trend fit me as a person because everyone has their personal style i'm coming to that so everyone has their personal style so you need to ask yourself a size fits in my physique or my body size is this my personal style like for instance i delve into many type of styles but i would say my major styles are classy vintage so i am in between classy vintage i love my style to hover around a little bit of classy and a little bit of vintage so you need to know your style some people are body like their style is body so like all the skimpy all the skin showing some people are a little bit very sexy or girly they like all the girly slip on and the rest I, I wear those once in a while but they will not be like I can't say they are like my major go-to style no so you need to know your personal style what do you delve towards what do you like love to put on most of the time that would say that would help you understand which trend to follow which trend not to follow and what to even buy or the is it the fourth or fifth point i've lost count is make sure that you know your personal style oh don't just follow your friend style don't say oh my friends are out here so i'm gonna be out here today you're gonna be wrong because it might not fit you and what if tomorrow your friends change their mind from being out here so you change your mind too so you just be going up and down and just be wasting money on buying clothes that you will not use for long so you just wasting money wasting clothes wasting effort you don't want to do that so as a person you need to ask yourself what type of style do i like and why do i like it does it represent what i want people to see me as because that's the major thing people always say oh i'm wearing clothes for myself yes you're wearing clothes for yourself but in the bigger picture you want people to see you a certain way that's why cultures have different ways they dress and do stuff because they want people to be able to identify them with those particular attributes so you can't only say i'm just for myself yes you're just for yourself but the bigger picture is that you want people to perceive you a certain way so you have to ask yourself how do i want to be perceived so you dress accordingly capiche capiche <laughs> the next point would be you do not need to spend your whole bank account uh, a lot of people think that if you to look poised and put together your whole money is supposed to finish no 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 the entire money is not supposed to finish in fact there are a lot of budget buying techniques that i would i would do that in another video if you guys are interested in knowing the budget buying techniques i use to buy my own items or my clothes because you can't just be splurging all your money on clothes the other thing is you have bills to pay you can't just buy clothes with all your money so you need to put that into consideration so for instance if you want to buy a shirt do you know that it's not the shirt doesn't have to be too expensive for it to be fine or for it to fit you so you just go according to your pocket according to your range if you can afford the luxury fine afford it but luxury doesn't always mean beautiful luxury doesn't always mean it to fit you so if you have that in mind it will help and guide you that okay that you're buying it for a very expensive price doesn't mean to fit you you're just buying it because you can buy it so don't overspend like trying to impress because when you spend and wear the clothes and you're starving those people that you're trying to impress will not give you food though so i had to learn that personally <laughs> Yes, shit to myself too. So, those people you are trying to press will not give you food. So, you better buy what is in your budget, but what looks really nice and fits you and makes you feel confident. At the end of the day, it's how it looks on you. Imagine if you're wearing a Dior shirt now and it doesn't fit you, it looks clumsy on you, you're looking like they borrowed you. And in your mind, you're like, I spent hmm, 2000, 2k pounds, 3k pounds on this shirt. And nobody is like telling you, oh, you look nice. You will feel bad because you know you've splurged or you invested a lot of your hard earned money on this top, and nobody's even complimenting you. Ah, it will choke your soul. It will choke your soul. So, we don't want that. So, make sure you invest your coins wisely and budget wisely and buy staples that will stand the test of time. Staples always stand the test of time. Staples like white shirt, black trousers, a blazer, a loafers. A pair of black heels these are like staples that can go with any combination whatsoever and the last but not the least item or point to enable you look poised and put together in your style is don't compare yourself see ya 
you can be air you can do all these other points i've mentioned but if you compare yourself with any other person you'll be wrong because first of all you're not like any other person your color might not be the same with the person your shape might not be the same with the person your height might not be the same with the person so if you compare yourself with someone else it's fine to get inspiration from here and there but do not say oh um cindy wore this i must wear it i find this mostly with females females especially like when they want something to be tailored they will be like oh i saw this on this girl and i want it exactly like that it's fine to have inspiration take inspiration from people's styles and designs but you need to consider your own self because you only liked it on her because it fits her so imagine if it didn't fit her you wouldn't have liked it on her so even when you're getting inspiration from other people's styles to inculcate in your own style you need to ensure that it fits you well and you're not just wearing it for competition sake you're not just wearing it to prove a point you're not just wearing it to make people know that you can wear it too. you're wearing it because it fits you you're wearing it because it suits or delves into your personal style you're wearing it because you can afford it comfortably you're wearing it because you feel confident in it if all these points are not met i'm sorry you don't need it you do not need it so those are my points on how to look put together and confident in your style whatever style it might be so if you have any other comments you want to drop any other suggestions drop up in the comment section if you have any points in any way these points have helped you or you have applied this point in the past and has helped you please don't forget to drop a comment i'll be glad to read through them if you haven't subscribed please do so now thank you very much if you haven't turned on the post notification please do so you can be notified when i post new videos first also if you want to follow me on my socials at insta on instagram i am at style technician and on twitter i am in order god so thank you for staying to this point i really appreciate i can't wait for you to see my next video i hope stay tuned to watch my next video thank you very much till then bye lovelies